Good evening, Good evening. Uh, Chairman Merman and members of the Education Committee. My name is Briefull, B-R-I-F-U-L-L, and I am a member of the Board of Education and Chairwoman of its Legislative Committee. Uh, I am here on behalf of the Omaha Public Schools in opposition to LB 575. The Omaha Public Schools is the largest school district in Nebraska, serving over 52,000 students and is the third largest employer in the state. The Omaha Public Schools is the most diverse school district in the state by almost any metric you wish to evaluate us by. Our students and families speak more than 100 languages. Nearly one in five students we serve receive special education services. We pride ourselves on embracing each and every student, where they are, when they come to us, without judging them in any way. We know that many children and parents choose to attend the Omaha Public Schools because they know that we treat every child with the dignity, respect, and acceptance they deserve. We oppose LB 575 because it seeks to solve a problem that we do not see in our hallways. We oppose LB 575 because it seeks to solve a problem, uh, oh, because it discourages student participation in sports and activities that keep them involved and active. Students should be able to come to school feeling safe, secure, and supported by their peers and respected by their teachers and school administrators. We oppose LB 575 because it seeks to divide our students by telling some of them they are not welcome in our schools. District-based work through recent years has shown how local school communities can best identify how to support the young people they serve without the need for a one-size-fits-all approach set forth in LB 575. We are aware that many in the education community are reluctant to come forward and express their opposition to LB 575. We wish that weren't the case. We are here because we believe that all of our children, especially the most vulnerable and sometimes the least protected, deserve to know that they will be welcome at school with open arms and that we as educators will stand up for their rights. We appreciate your time and consideration and encourage you to oppose LB 575. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions for a brief poll? Senator Conrad. Thank you, Chair Merman. Good to see you, uh, School Board Member Full. Thank you for being here and showing OPS's, uh, sharing OPS's position. I know you just got off the campaign trail not that long ago, like a lot of us. Yes. Um, but I was hoping that maybe you could share some of your experience because it's such a rich experience talking to so many voters across the political spectrum. Um, when you were running for school board, I don't want to guess, but I'm Based on my experience, it seems like I heard from people about who are concerned about kids in education, about property taxes, about teacher shortages, about resources for kids with special needs. Mm -hmm. um, those were like the top issues that I usually heard about when it came to education conversations when I was out on the campaign trail. Mm -hmm. This really didn't rise up. Um, in, in terms of being top of mind for my constituents. Did you have a similar or different experience? I, I'd just like to, to know what your constituents were thinking about the most pressing issues in education were. Yeah, thank you for the question, Senator Conrad. I appreciate it. Thank you for your service. Um, I am recently off the campaign trail. I represent Subdistrict 2, which is primarily North Omaha and a little bit of Midtown. So what I did not hear this conversation arise um, often. I heard about the shortage of teachers that we need to solve that issue. Uh, that's very important to our students in our OPS community in Subdistrict 2. I also heard a lot about um, you know, making sure that we can get our kids back on track with their mental health and with their um, with their learning outcomes, because the the devastation that COVID you know brought on all the school districts in Nebraska, not just OPS, uh, is still being felt. And so, those are some of the issues that were brought up. You know, if these type of issues did arise, it's because someone who was having an issue specifically um, to LGBTQ rights in schools, um, they would come to me specifically for that reason. But when I was out knocking doors, um, no, it's not something that I heard 
uh, incredibly often in sub-district too. Thanks so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Would be full. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Have uh, Rosemary Essex up there.